Why is it so demotivating to do questions? Why do we procrastinate on doing the next question? So you've done a question, didn't go well, and now the idea of doing the next one just, it's just not pleasant. You just don't want to do it. Why does this happen and how do we change it? First, why does this happen? The reason that you feel bad when you do questions that don't go well is because the outcome hasn't matched the objective. It's quite simple. The biggest reason we get frustrated and unhappy in life is when our expectations are not met. You have an expectation that you're going to do well and you don't. You have an expectation that someone's going to be nice to you and they're not. You have an expectation that you're going to get money and you don't. A lot of our frustrations come from expectation gaps. This is exactly the same with questions. You went into the question with an objective and the objective was not met. What was the objective? I want to pass the question. I didn't meet the objective, therefore I'm unhappy. Our personality styles are not happy in situations where the reality has not met our expectation. We set up objectives for ourselves, we set up goals for ourselves, and we measure ourselves according to whether or not we've achieved that goal. Your entire qualification, your, your studying, the exams, right down to the questions that you do every day. Fine. This is normal. This is normal. Okay, so that expectation gap, the gap between the outcome and what you want from it causes a lot of frustration, disappointment, hurt and anger and that sense of, well, what now? How do I fix this? Your questions are no different. Great. But if I didn't go into the question actually thinking that it was going to go fantastically because I know that I'm struggling. So what's going on here? For most of my students, there's one reason that they do questions and that reason is to assess whether or not I know enough to pass. To assess whether or not I know enough to pass. That is your goal. When you come out of that question and you go, no, I don't know enough to pass, then we're unhappy. We don't want to do the next question. And we also don't think that it makes sense to do the next question because if the goal is I need to know enough to pass, and you know that you don't know enough to pass, then why would you do the question? Okay, We avoid questions and students don't see it as avoidance. Students will say to me, no, but Yvonne, I don't avoid questions because that gives the idea that I should be doing questions, but I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not avoiding it. I'm just not ready because at the point where I feel like I know enough to do questions, that's when I'll do questions because that's the objective and I want to meet the outcome. Fine. 